Welcome! In this video, I am going to go over the basics of starting a drawing in Revit. Before we get started, if you're new, my name is Melissa. I am the real BIM lady. I have spent most of my career working in residential architecture, training, managing, and developing content and processes for architects to improve their workflow and efficiency. Let's get started. What you're looking at right now is Revit's startup screen. To get here, I have double clicked on the Revit icon on my desktop. Depending on what version of Revit you are in, yours may look a little bit different than this, and in some cases might even work slightly differently. This is Revit 2021. Over in the left column, we have a few simple actions for models and for families. If you are new to Revit, Families are separate Revit files you bring into your overall Revit file to complete your drawings, such as a door or window, cabinetry, or any furniture. It's similar to an AutoCAD block. The actions that we have available are, one, we can open an existing drawing, or two, we can start a new drawing. When I click under the new bu button under models, it takes you to a template file. In my case, my personal template is showing. In your case, it might be Revit's template. And Revit has a, a long list of templates you can use and it's totally fine to start there. When you click on the new button under families, it has templates for family files, depending on what category they are. Below here is access to BIM 360 files. BIM 360 is a separate subscription that Autodesk provides that enables you to host your Revit model on the cloud. And it also enables multiple people in multiple different areas of the world even to work on the same project at the same time. In the middle of the page, there is a list of recent files. So these are recent files that I have opened. This is handy and makes it quick because I can simply just click here and open this file that I've been recently working on. And if I scroll down, this is a, re a recent list of family files. And again, to quickly access it, I can just click on it and open it. It's the important thing with Revit is to always open your files from Revit. When you start working with multiple people in one project and have what is called work sharing enabled, if you open a file from your file browser from your computer and double click on that, you could potentially break that file and have to repair it. So it's always, it's important. I tell newbies always when I'm training them, get in the habit of opening up your drawing from Revit. The last thing I want to go over is this home button here. This is a sneaky little guy and it's kind of hard to know what he does and, and what he can do. So if I click on this home button, it kind of takes you to what looks like the, the Revit user interface, but everything is grayed out. There are a couple of things, actions that you can take within here. You can transmit a model. This is similar to e-transmit in Revit. So if you wanted to send your model to somebody or email it, and then you can convert an RFA, which is a Revit family file, to format. And in reverse, you can click on the home button again, and it takes you back to the startup screen. That's good to know about for when you have a BIM 360 file open and you wanted to open multiple BIM 360 files, the home button is how you do that. I am going to start a brand new file from my personal template. And in the next video, we will go over the basics of drawing and editing tools. I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.